Grant Sperry is a forensic document examiner. Handwriting identification is based on movement, inclination, speed, skill, slant, writing pressure, uh, idiosyncrasies, relationships within a particular person's writing habit. It's the sum total of these that allow for one writer to be separated from all others in terms of their individual writing features. We have asked Sperry to examine six documents dating between 1941 and 1944 that allegedly contain Kaliman's signature. One in particular is the ammunition log in which Kaliman allegedly requisitions bullets to replace those he used to kill civilians. Sperry will compare these signatures with Kaliman's original signature from his 1944 driver's license. Using a digital microscope, he will examine the intricacies of the strokes and the original ink. Beginning in the upper left-hand corner, we have the question Kaliman's signature from the 1942 incriminating document, if you will. To the right of that is another Kaliman signature, also from 1942 on a different document. And in the lower left-hand corner is a third Coleyman signature from 1942. All three of these documents, all three of these signatures are in question. The signature in the lower right-hand corner of this particular screen is the signature that was submitted as a known writing to Mr. Coleyman from the driver's license. Some of the cross-comparable features that I found to be in agreement between the three 1942 documents are the B formation in the upper left-hand corner, the second letter N, with a loop here, here, and then over in this area here. Significantly, the, even though we're dealing just with one known signature of Mr. Colleyman in the 1944 document here, you can see some differences in terms of the, the uh, lower extender and the Y being much rounder. Now, whether or not this is just a variation that's not represented because we have insufficient known writings, is difficult to say. So there's a relatively short time period involved, 41 through 44. And in this time period, one would suspect that there would be very little uh, writing change in terms of writing characteristics and style and habits. Yet there, in fact, if these are supposedly all the writing of one person, there has been, in my opinion, uh, some significant stylistic changes. Sperry's analysis is what Kaliman had hoped for. He cannot link the signatures on the incriminating documents to known samples of Kaliman's handwriting. From a forensic point of view, there is no basis to conclude that Mr. Kaliman wrote any of these signatures.